one. Very good, very good, very good. Welcome, Mike. Thank you. 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 To mark a significant milestone in the long and close relationship between Papua New Guinea and the International Monetary Fund. As we celebrate the reopening of the IMF's Red Rep office in Papua New Guinea, we reflect on the journey that has brought us to this moment. Next year not only marks the 50th anniversary of the independence of Papua New Guinea but also the 50th year of our enduring partnership, which began on October 9, 1975, when Papua New Guinea joined the IMF as a former member. Since then, our partnership has grown stronger, built on a foundation of understanding, cooperation, and shared goals. Our presence here in Port Moresby underscores our mutual long-term commitment to foster economic stability, growth, and development in Papua New Guinea. This office will serve as a hub for collaboration, providing support and assistance to the authorities as they navigate an increasingly complex global environment. Working hand-in-hand, -hand, we can support you as you address challenges and seize opportunities. I am confident that with uh, Mr. Saurabh Rafik representing the IMF here, we will achieve great things together. Yeah, yeah, Saurabh. Yeah. I want to thank everyone who helped make this momentous occasion possible, including the government of Papua New Guinea. We look forward to continuing our collaboration and supporting you as you work towards a bright and prosperous future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Boli, the Deputy Managing Director, has traveled all the way from uh, the head office. Uh, he is uh, the only other person he reports to, but apart from the board, is uh, Managing Director. Christalina. So I just want to say thank you. Welcome to uh, uh, PNG once again. He uh, paid a courtesy call uh, to myself and uh, Minister assisting me in Treasury, the Honorable uh, Staki. Uh, we had a very good, fruitful uh, meeting at the uh, 10th floor Manasupe uh, Prime Minister's office earlier today, in which he affirmed uh, that uh, under the uh, invitation, uh, the, the uh, presence back in, in PNG now going five years uh, uh, and with the presence of Mr. Sorak as a, uh, as a uh, resident uh, coordinator of uh, IMF in, in PNG. It's a testament and evident that uh, they are serious about their presence here. Uh, we want to welcome you back into Port Mosby. Uh, economy, I always use the word economy feeds the country. Economy is the mother of the country. Economy is the, uh, enables the country to be functional. And it is every government's interest to ensure economy is stronger, resilient to shocks and, uh, and, uh, and, and attacks, and ensure that the country is benefiting from a growth and stronger economy. Uh, Papua New Guinea is privileged to have almost all the multilaterals, globally recognized multilaterals in our country now, with IMF coming back fully with a functional office open this afternoon. It's symbolic to the presence of IMF, and IMF in a greater scale is the global benchmark of the economy, ensures the economy is supported, stabilized, assisted, advised, or given support where necessary, uh, and with IMF now in PNG on a full-time basis with a resident office, it completes the established multilaterals we are looking at. We've got IMF now, World Bank, ADB, uh, as we went to China last year, we uh, went and we have given a letter of ascension to the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank. Uh, these are credible uh, partners for development in the economy. Uh, when we need help, they're able to mobilize, lend themselves, or mobilize consensus lending. A clear difference between my government's modus operandi 
to finance our deficit and assist our budget through up, go, go, get, getting out there, getting from credible lenders, uh, US dollar denominated lending. And I'm happy that IMF, after we've started, and I want to say from up front, uh, they didn't impose, they didn't say we want to come in. They were there, we went back looking for them. We said, we need you to be here. Uh, in case people think that James Marape and Ian Instak is benchmark of the economy uh, is, is, is uh, from a political spectrum, we said, you come up, you assist, you assess, you look, you advise, and then we can take from this advice as, as, as you put on the table what is good for the economy. Together in the last four years, we worked to restructure the economy, and we seen signs of improvement. We're not there yet, but we seen signs of improvement. And I just want to welcome the second highest uh, managing director, uh, to uh, reporting to only to managing director, the second highest, the deputy managing director, Mr. Lee, you're certainly welcome into Port Mosby. Uh, as I said earlier in our own meeting, PNG is not a bad place. We have our fair set of challenges, but we are a robust democracy. We're working to fix our uh, democracy within this. We want it to be a stronger free market capital economy that allows for business to thrive in the middle of this Indo-Pacific world that we are engaged in right now. So welcome to PNG. We've been a member of IMF since October 1975. Next year, as the country passed through our 50th anniversary, we would also be in this office celebrating the 50th anniversary of PNG IMF relationship. So we're looking forward to the occasion also. But today, thank you for inviting me into your office. And I, I look, certainly look forward to continued work and dialogue with IMF going forward for our economy.